Now we're going to read chapter four of Stop Bullying. In the last chapter, we looked at some ways to combat bullying once it's already happening. But what about solving the problem before it begins? In chapter four, we're going to learn about how to prevent bullying. So let's listen up and read along. One of the best ways to prevent bullying is to talk about it. Just bringing attention to it can help make dealing with the problem easier. Talk about bullying with friends you can trust. Discuss how it affects you and other people you know. You can also talk with adults and your friends about ways to put a stop to it. When you support a friend who has been bullied, you send the bully a message. Remember that bullies try to isolate their victims to make them feel weak. So when you connect with a friend, you're showing that you have a bond and you have support. Now you're not the odd one out and the bully won't want to um, attack you as much. Finding solutions. Bullying often happens in places where there are no adults. These places could be bathrooms or certain parts of the playground. They could also be school buses because the driver can only focus on the road. Figure out how to make those places safer. Ask adults to be more aware of the problem. Encourage kids to stick together. Other kids can help stop a bully, especially when adults are not around. Boys are more likely to use physical violence when bullying than girls are. It is a lot less scary to stand up to a bully in a group. Often there's real safety in numbers. If everyone in your class agrees to stand up to the bully, then the bully will feel outnumbered. He or she will probably back down. In fact, the bully might even feel embarrassed. As a group, make it clear that bullying behavior is not okay. These are some of many reasons that we have the ITJ code, we have um, our cleaning staff take, have vigilance over the bathroom, we have duties at ITJ. We make it clear that bullying is not okay, and we watch over those places where that can sometimes be vulnerable without teachers. Have you ever bullied someone? Are you a bully? Think about your own behavior. Do you tease other kids? Do you call people names? Do you shove or hit people when you're angry? Do you make fun of people because of what they wear? If you sometimes do these things, try to understand why. Maybe you're having trouble at home. Maybe you're feeling frustrated. Or maybe you have been bullied. If you are bullying others, many kids may not want to be around you. You might feel powerful for a moment, but it probably will not last long. Other kids will notice your behavior and reject you. To have good, real friends, you need to learn how to be nice to other kids. Try surprising people and being nice to someone for no particular reason. How do the people around you react? Girls and boys have about the same likelihood of being bullied. You don't need a reason to be nice to someone or to lend a helping hand. I think something this book does well is it reminds us that not everyone is a bully or getting bullied. Sometimes people are both. Now, let's look at a truth moment called the bully effect. Research shows that people who are bullied are more likely to suffer from depression. They're also more likely to have poor grades and drop out of school. If the bullying is extreme, they may even commit suicide. People who bully others are more likely to get into fights. As they get older, they are more likely to commit crimes and be physically violent. They also might be more likely to abuse alcohol and drugs. Now, I want to just make this clear. These effects and talk about when we talk about likelihood are all statistical. So it doesn't mean that every single person who gets bullied will experience these effects. And these effects don't necessarily come right away. So we're talking about long periods of time between the bullying and when people experience these negative effects. Still, it's best to stop bullying. Showing respect is the easiest way to make friends you can count on. Show respect and stop bullying. Remember, everyone deserves respect. You should respect your friends and classmates and they should respect you. If people are being bullied, they are not being respected. Take time to talk about respect with friends and trusted adults. Treat people the way you want to be treated. Find ways to appreciate other kids and enjoy everyone's differences. Show respect, that's the first pillar of the ITJ code. Now we're gonna look at some true statistics. Statistics are facts based on numbers and they actually have a lot to do with percents, which is what we've been studying in math class. Number of bullies in US schools, 2.1 million. 
Number of students who miss school each day because they're afraid of bullies, 160,000. Percentage of fourth through eighth grade students who have been bullied, 90. Number of students in kindergarten through 12th grade who were either a bully or a victim of bullying in 2010, one in seven. Percentage of students who've seen bullying take place at school, more than 50. Percentage of students who've told an adult when they are victims of bullying, 42. Number of students who drop out of school or change schools because of bullying, nearly one in 10. Percentage of students who see bullying as an ongoing problem, more than 70. Number of states that have passed bullying prevention laws, 49 out of 50. Did you find the truth? Bullying only happens face to face? That's false. Remember, bullying can happen online as well. One form of bullying is spreading gossip and rumors. That's true. Okay, using our words can be a form of bullying. Now, at the end of this book, we see some extra resources. as well as a glossary of important words and an index to help you look up information. Finally, there's a section about the author, which I'll read just now. Lucia Ratma is a writer and editor who enjoys working on books for young readers. She earned a bachelor's degree in English from the University of South Carolina and a master's degree in cinema studies from New York University. She likes writing about all sorts of subjects, including history, conservation, wildlife, character education, and social media. She lives with her husband and two children in the Tampa Bay area of Florida. All right, that is the end of our book, Stop Bullying.